<laughs> Don't put that on the video. <laughs> of the time I know what day it is. So today's Friday the 17th I think it is. Um, my mom and sister just came to town and they're staying with me for the weekend so you guys will see them in some videos. My mom and I are just headed out because I still have to interview the last two assistants that I'm potentially going to be hiring. I'm excited about that. Very very excited about that. Mm, 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 mm. It's gonna take things to a whole other level. So still pretty sick. I feel like actually like on the upswing today. I feel like yesterday was probably like my lowest day and today I'm on the upswing for sure. Karen is four weeks out from her show so she's been like sanitizing everything. Like I wipe down everything that I do after I like enter the kitchen because I don't want her getting sick because she's like four weeks out from her first show. So anyways, um, I'm headed out. It's very gloomy in Los Angeles today. Like raining all weekend. The one weekend I family tell you say hi mom. Hi. No, not to me. <laughs> she just looked at me and said hi. <laughs> Anyways, you guys will see her in a second. She's doing my laundry. Everybody likes Mama Gucci. Oh, your hair. Hey, my hair's a mess. Yeah, it's longer. <laughs> it is longer. You know, it's letting it grow. Looks nice, Mom. <laughs> so, funny story about those flowers right there. I showed you guys them in a little montage this morning, but Brian got me these for Valentine's Day, but I had them at his place in DC. Um, and they came the night before I left. Sorry, it was like Tuesday night, Valentine's Day night, and they came at like 10 p.m. because they were so backed up. And I was supposed to leave the next morning, but like I took them on the plane as a carry-on. They came in like a box, and it was totally fine. It was just easy to take the entire box as a carry-on. Interestingly enough, there's a lot of things you can take on planes that you don't necessarily think. People always ask like, how do you take your pills and your protein powder? Like, they don't care and they don't check. Seriously, and food, all of it's fine. As long as you don't take liquids in your carry-on, you're good. Just bought this and two new batteries because my camera is currently on 5% battery. I always forget to charge at the end of the night. So, got some new batteries. I'm gonna charge them, and we'll be good. Say the one weekend my family comes. It's raining. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, they just came to hang out with me. You know how this feels when your sock is literally halfway down your foot? So I got some toast, so I'm putting some jelly on it and a side of egg whites. Mom got an omelet with potatoes. She always smiles when she puts the camera on. I filmed 0% of the day yesterday. It is the next day already. Yay, welcome to the next day. Um, so I just like worked all day yesterday and like rested still. But today is my first day back in the gym. I did. I went to the gym Sunday and today is Saturday. So it's been five full days where I took completely off. Like no cardio and no lifting. I didn't eat anything less because you guys saw in that last video that I just like continued eating the same amount that I normally eat. I'm actually in a really good place with my eating right now, which I'm really happy about. I feel really good about myself and good about like the amount of food that I've been eating, so I'm really happy. So what we're gonna do is head to the gym. We're gonna go to the apartment gym. My mom and sister are both here. They're in the background that you'll see them in a few minutes, but we're gonna just get like a light pump and then I'm gonna do a little bit of light cardio. So it's just gonna be light. Where's my cotton candy high volume? But really though, why is it nowhere? I saw it. I think it's in the cabinet. Oh. Uh, by all your... Down on the third shelf. I swear I saw it. Yes. This is high volume. So what we're gonna do is just take some high volume because I'm just trying to get a pump today. I'm not trying to get, not trying to like do any compound lifting, nothing like that. Really, I'm just gonna do some like light upper body, maybe some abs. Um, I'm also gonna mix in amino IV and I'm also going to mix in true creatine uh, in my little shaker cup today. So we're gonna do that and head to the gym. Okay, guys, so what we're gonna do first is just like a 10 minute warm up on the bike. Um, the bike is probably one of my favorite cardio machines, so something you might not 
not have known about me is that I used to want to be a spin instructor. When I was like 20, 19 years old, spin was my favorite thing to do. Like I would go like three or four times a week and I was like considering being a spin instructor before I got really into weightlifting, but uh, spin is my favorite. I'm just doing a light to moderate 10 minute warm up. If you guys want to watch really good scientific video about warm ups, look up Jeff Nipper on YouTube. He's amazing. I watched his video about warming up this morning. He links a bunch of studies showing why it's beneficial. Essentially like a 10 minute warm up helps increase your body temperature and it helps to prevent some injuries. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna try to sweat a little bit. One of my goals this year is to sweat a little bit more. Sorry, not this year. In the next few months, I'm trying to do a little bit more cardio, sweat a little bit more um, in preparation for an upcoming cut. So I'll talk to you guys about that in a little bit. First, I'm gonna get to some cardio. All right guys, so in a previous video, I did mention that I was gonna tell you guys what my goals were for my fitness journey in the next couple of months, like the next time block. So um, with I can like see what my goals are or like what I want in like a year and a half. So I have a long-term goal. That long-term goal is to be strong as hell. Like I really wanna continue to push the strength on my squat bench and deadlift. Um, just for my own personal reasons, I do want to maintain at like a more comfortable body fat than what I'm at now. So I would like some sort of happy medium between like curvy and like still have some body fat on me, like the healthy amount. Um, but I also still want to like look a little leaner, like somewhere, somewhere like comfortable for photo shoots. Like I feel like I'm a few pounds away from that right now. Um, and I want to maintain there. I also want to maintain at like a higher amount of calories. So I want to be eating like at least 2,500 calories a day and maintaining on that body fat percent. This is what everybody else wants, right? This is like the goal. Um, but I'm going to do it, mark my words. I also want to incorporate some more like athletic style stuff. So um, I wanna be like more athletic. I want to have good endurance. I wanna keep cardio in my routine. And I also wanna like build a little bit more of my shoulders. And I feel like the amount of muscle I have on my body, I'm like really comfortable with. So um, I'm not super stressed about like putting on too much more size, but more so just maintaining the muscle that I already have. So uh, with that being said, what I've been doing right now I'm at a really good and comfortable spot with like the amount of food that I'm eating and my training and I'm just really happy with like what's been going on in the last like, month or so. Aside from the last week from being sick, um, I have been maintaining at around 1800 calories or so. So I'm eating like 110-ish protein, um, about like 200-ish carbs and like 55-ish like give or take fat. Um, if anything, I'm usually a little over that, not necessarily ever under, like I don't really ever under eat. Um, so just to give you guys who may not know a little bit of a background, I did compete in bikini this past summer. Um, I really liked the process and everything, but from a lot of years of competing, I actually had to get really, really low calorie to even get to like a level of competitiveness for a bikini show. Um, and from there, I ended up kind of just being really sick of dieting for a little while. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to intuitively eat. And with that, I had a lot of trips coming up and I, and I went to like New York and I went to like a bunch of different places and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to enjoy food and enjoy eating. And I enjoyed it like a little too much. So exciting. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. Uh, a little too many times, I guess you could say. So especially in New York, New York was like, New York was a thing. But <laughs> regardless from that, I did gain uh, about 20 pounds or so. It wasn't super, super fast, but it was more quick than I would have kind of wanted it. I probably would have rather have stayed within like a 15 pound range instead of like a 20 pound. So um, I gained a little bit too much too quickly. And with that, I wasn't able to like build up my metabolism the proper way. So what you're kind of supposed to do is jump back up to maintenance after like a prolonged dieting phase. And then from there, you're supposed to like slowly build your calories after you've hit maintenance. And what I kind of did, I was just, I hit maintenance and then I built up calories from trips and eating and like random things that um, you're not necessarily supposed to do. So with that being said, yes, I'm only eating 1800 calories a day and that seems low for some people, but for me it's pretty good because I don't want to gain more weight, um, but my calories like weren't built up from doing it the proper way, I guess you could say. So that's why I see it, like in a year and a half, year in advance, that that's what I want to do like the next time after I cut, like I actually want to do it the right way. Um, Last year, I did do it the right way in 2015. I did do it really slowly and I stayed really lean and everything, but like 
I tracked so meticulously throughout my entire off season because I really, I honestly like didn't have any friends and reason to go out and get food. Like I just kind of stayed home and I didn't really have any reason to not track my food. So I stayed really on track and I stayed really lean and stuff like that. But I also like didn't feel as good and healthy as I do now. So with that being said, I am planning on, so for the next time block, I'm planning on with my nutrition staying in maintenance even a little bit higher trying to push it like a little bit more but not too too much more for the next like six weeks or so um and then from there i kind of want to start a cut i'm going to start a cut in april so i don't know if it's going to be like beginning ish maybe like closer to the middle end of april kind of thing but i'm going to be doing a cut for myself it's not going to be for a bikini show at this point um i know you guys are probably wondering that but it's going to just be for me. It's going to be a healthy cut. It's going to be not worrying about a competition date in mind. It's not going to be like stressful where I have to stay on track 100% of the time and not miss a beat. Um, I want to miss a few beats here and there. Like I want to go on vacation for my birthday with Brian. I want to make sure that like I will be staying on track for like the large majority of the time. But like there'll be times where I don't necessarily like want to like here and there I want to have like free meals and stuff like that um of course while staying on track as much as I possibly can but I don't want it to be as stressful as a competition prep where I have like a set deadline where I have to be ready by um I've never done a cut before where I wasn't prepping for a show so I really am excited to do it in like a healthy way that's like for normal people that like if you were just cutting you you were just going on a cut this is like what you would be doing um instead of doing it for a bikini competition, I guess you could say. Things are really similar, to be completely honest, but by the end of it, it just gets really, really uh, low and extreme. So it's gonna be interesting seeing how it goes this time around, so I'm really excited about it. But I do wanna get to like a little bit more comfortable level, um, still healthy, still keeping things healthy as possible, but um, I wanna get like a little bit leaner. I wanna uh, lose a little bit of body fat that I gained, but I do wanna talk about that a little bit as well. Um, there has been comments in my comment section and on Instagram and stuff and yeah I was a bikini competitor and I did compete and I got super super lean and there's plenty of people on social media and Instagram that are lean and they stay lean year round and they get to eat a lot of food and stay super shredded and like either way I've been getting plenty of comments saying that I'm fat that I um, shouldn't be powerlifting because I, I gained weight and like number one powerlifting has nothing to do with my weight gain it was the food not the powerlifting it has nothing to do with the way you train it just has to do with like being in a caloric surplus and too much um regardless there's plenty plenty of comments that i get on the daily on the daily like every single video there's always someone saying that i gained a ton of weight or i'm fat or i'm like super thick or whatever um and there's also plenty of people that are like really supportive of course as well like you guys are always there and like i totally appreciate you but Going back to the point, I did just want to say that those people that say that, it just, it just really brings a negative light into what females are supposed to do and what they think they're supposed to look like. We're always pushing restricting calories. We're always pushing to get leaner. We're always pushing to be smaller versions of ourselves as girls. Um, people don't really show too often that like you can be a little bit bigger and still be strong and beautiful. And like, and like to an extent, it's just it's difficult for me to like see that and then um, it's not difficult for me to like internalize it like I don't take it personally because I am truly happy and comfortable with myself like I love the way that I look right now I feel really good about myself and I think it's really important for me to share that with people and um, I'm really happy about it but I do just want to mention that like seeing that and having other people view that as well it just it's not a good look it does not help anybody gain more confidence it does not help anybody be empowered to gain weight and gain muscle and become strong like it just doesn't help anything and um i'm trying to do my best by showing people that like you can embrace a little bit of weight gain and it's not a bad thing it never is a bad thing it's it's really it's uh the competitive lifestyle and the fitness lifestyle social media and stuff people are always cutting and always dieting and it's not, you don't have to do that to be beautiful. That's what I just like kind of want to like set that message across um, my platform here. So with that being said, I am going to be going on a cut just because I want to do it in a healthy way. And I want to be able to get my calories back up and my metabolism working the way I want it to within like a year, year and a half or so. And I, uh, I do want to like be a little bit more comfortable just for photo shoots, I guess you could say. Um, 
not that I'm not comfortable now, I know it's kind of like a hard and fine line to walk where I say I'm comfortable and happy with where I am now, but I still want to lose a little fat. That's still okay, but you still have to be happy and comfortable in your mind because the body follows the mind, and if you're not happy and good up here, there's plenty of ways that you won't be happy and good once you get to like your goal body or whatever. So, that being said, I hope that explained everything in terms of like what I want and what my goals are for nutrition. For training, I still want to get strong as hell. I'm still going to be incorporating powerlifting. I am going to be on a new training block, but I'll do a whole other video in terms of like the new training and stuff once I get to it. Um, today, I just went back to the gym. All the footage you guys are seeing over this, it was my first day back to the gym after five days of taking off from having the flu. So I just did like a light upper body workout, but I will be getting back to it once I'm fully recovered. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the message and if you enjoyed hearing about what my uh, next few months are going to look like. So thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one.